Today here on RumbleStrip.net and 10 minute test drive, we've come down to Durham, North Carolina to drive the 2019 Volkswagen Jetta. This is the new Jetta, all new, built on the MQB platform. Built to go against the likes of uh, Honda Civic and Toyota Corolla, Chevy Cruze and, and the like. So how have they done with this new iteration? Uh, built on the MQ, MQB platform, we should have high hopes. Does it fulfill them? Is this good? Should you consider this as a next vehicle if you're in this segment? That's what we find out next on RubbleStrip.net and 10 minute test drive. So we've had a chance to put close to 100 miles on this 2019 Jetta today and color us impressed. Uh, the MQB platform from Volkswagen is an outstanding platform. They've all kinds of good stuff off that. Obviously the Golf, uh, the new Tiguan and Atlas are off of that and now we have the Jetta. So they've done a good job with this. Now this Jetta is specifically designed for the North American market. Uh, it's not something you're going to see outside of it and the, some of the uh, tuning tastes, especially for suspension, do fit the American profile a little bit better, and we'll get to that here in a few minutes. First off, it looks good. Uh, the styling is a little more sophisticated. It's The last generation was very sparse, and maybe not the best looking thing out there. I mean, it wasn't bad, but and when it first debuted, it was like, oh, there's some good looking, nice sharp lines on here, but eh, this one just seems a little bit better. Sorry, we're navigating and we're also driving at the same time and recording video. So this is a ton of fun here. So let's see, we are going left here on Hamlin Road. So you're coming along for the drive with us here as we're doing a little ride and drive, as uh, as you know, and let's get to the driving. It's really good. Um, the ride quality on here is outstanding. We've driven on a number of different surfaces, and the, I guess the best way to describe it is very compliant without being wallowy. It's not classic German, you know, doesn't have a classic German feel, but it's not wallowy American. It's it's kind of a nice balance between the two. Um, this comes with a 1.4 liter turbo four cylinder. It has 148 horsepower uh, and 184 foot pounds of torque. And you know what? It's fine. Uh, quick guesstimate on the timing when we just did a quick brake stand and go it was about seven seconds, zero to 60. Uh, it felt fine. Getting on the highway, it has plenty of power. The torque uh, is a tiny little turbo in this thing, so the torque is there right off idle. Uh, you put your foot into it, it'll spin the tires in two, two, almost three gears. Uh, especially if the surface is a little loose, it'll definitely do it in three gears. And it'll cruise down the highway at 80 miles an hour. Quiet. Just beautiful. And, uh, yeah, it's... It's shockingly good in that, um, in that day-to-day -day driving. So one of the features of this new 2019 Jetta is the 10.3 inch display. Uh, completely digital, you can have it so it is just navigation across the whole screen. You can have your tack and your speedometer. Uh, you, you can do a few things within those, with the tack and the speedometer to show you what it, you know, whatever you need, whether it's fuel economy, your gear, uh, how fast you're going. It's quite configurable to, to however you want it. Uh, is it as nice as, you know, high-end uh, Audi stuff? No, but again, you're gonna keep that level of technology for your more premium brands. Fuel economy on this is rated at uh, 30 city, 34 combined, and 40 highway. And we'd say that those numbers are gonna be really close. We did about 38 combined uh, on some mixed driving and you know, we weren't trying hard to uh, to get good fuel economy, but we're able to pull it down relatively easy. Uh, it does have start stop, and uh, it's pretty seamless. It's not so many stop start systems are abrupt. This one is not. This one is actually pretty good. Um, you don't you don't get that big judder that some some tend to give you. Uh, 
either starting or stopping at, at a stoplight. It's it's not bad, and uh, you know it's going to be a thing more and more as uh, as we go along here. Interior materials in this are probably appropriate for class. Um, we're driving an SEL right now. We've driven the SEL Premium, and the materials are about what you'd expect. You always hope they'd be a little better, but they're fine. There are certainly other vehicles in this class that do it much worse. Um, but this is, you're not gonna have too many complaints for the, for the money you're spending here. If we do have one complaint about the interior, it's that the seat sits a little high. Now for 99% of Americans, that's not a problem because we, they all love, or we all love as Americans, our high seating positions. Uh, I always like to get my seat as low as I possibly can, um, but everyone wants to sit high because they feel more in control, which is garbage, but it is what it is. Other, than, You get used to it, I just wish, I, I feel like I'd like to be sitting about two inches lower than what I am. Now this has, uh, this has a sunroof in it, which is a, a good sunroof here. Plenty of headroom up in here. Uh, my drive partner earlier in the day uh, is about six foot and he had plenty of headroom even with the, uh, with the sunroof. So that should not be a factor at all for you. But plenty of leg room here up front. The rear seat technically is a little bit uh, smaller in leg room than the outgoing. But when I, I do say technically because it's all about how things are measured. And with the MQB platform, there is a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A, br a bit of bracing there. And how they measure to the bracing uh, stop, the, the measurement stops where in the old one, that piece of bracing wasn't there so you could measure further. But effectively, you have the same leg room in the, in the new one as you did in the old one. One of the things that my drive partner and I were talking about is there's not a lot to complain about in this car, which is a good thing and a bad thing. I mean, it's a good thing because it means it's a really solid car doing a good job at a, at a reasonable price. And we'll list out the different trim levels and pricing here for you, as, as you can see. And it's not gonna be the cheapest vehicle out there, but not the most expensive, pretty much right in the middle. And we were having a hard time finding things to complain about. So yes, the high seating position, the uh, U-turn ability of this thing is, it's about four lanes, it's about four traffic lanes. So you're not pulling off any tight U-turns in this. And uh, you know, the one of the things we talked about with the interiors, like the center console here, it'd be nice to, it was a, it's slightly padded, it'd be nice to have a little more just because our driving position, a knee rest, tends to rest up against it. It's not bad. Um, again, certainly have had worse that we've dealt with over the years, um, but it's not bad. Now your higher level trims are gonna have the Beats Audio in here. It's okay. Um, in fact, let's cut into a spot right here for a little sound sample. Trying to, it's 
it's trying to make the best assumption of what we hear. We're not recording. We didn't record it off the GoPro audio. We recorded it off of separate audio. We have a collision alert on this one. Um, the audio is okay for the most part, but it's Beats. And what does Beats tend to do? I don't care what they say in their marketing materials now, and even what they said in their in their uh, presentation for us this morning, eh, there's still way too much. The bass is way too boomy. It gets blown out really quickly in stuff that shouldn't. Uh, it's fine. I like the Fender system a little better. Uh, right before we came out for this drive, I had the Golf R. Uh, we'll link that video up in here for you as well. And the Fender system in there was fantastic. Um, enjoy the fender systems in the, in the Volkswagens. They're, they're quite good. So this does have uh, CarPlay in it and it works as CarPlay should. It's really well equipped. Oh, sorry, in the premium, SEL premium, you get, um, and I think it's an option in SEL, you can get both, not just heated seats, but you can get cooled seats as well, which, um, and then you can, and later in the year, later after this uh, comes out, probably in the fall, of 2018, they'll have a cold weather package where you'll be able to get a heated steering wheel and heated rear seats as well, which is really cool. And that's unusual in this class. I think Hyundai is about the only one who tends to do heated rear seats, um, but I think that's it. And heated steering wheels are kind of hit, uh, touch and go in this class in this class of vehicles as well. So those will be nice options. The cold weather package, I think is a $450 option. Uh, also, in the base model trim, which is about 19 grand, depending on manual or automatic. I think the manual is like 18.5, and the automatic is like 19.3. Uh, there'll be a $450 package for your um, collision alerts and your blind spot monitoring. So, for under 20 grand, or right around 20 grand with delivery, you should be able to get a pretty reasonably well-equipped Jetta. And those will be the ones that, you know, 20 grand, you'll sh you should be seeing leases on those for 189, 189, no, probably more like 159 a month on those. So um, there'll be a good value on the leasing of, the, of this as well. So let's wrap this up. 2019 Jetta, what do we think? It's outstanding. For this class, at the price, it's really fair value. Outstanding value, no, but really fair value. It's, it's a good car, very impressed with the quality of the driving. It's quiet, it's comfortable. Um, it's a vehicle you'll be able to do a lot of miles in without any issues whatsoever. If, if you're gonna have a long highway commute uh, or a lot of stop and go in your commute, this is, this is gonna be really good. It has a very generous trunk. The fuel economy should be pretty spot on for what the EPA says it is, you know, uh, materials, as we said, are good. A lot of good options. This has got to be on a very short list if you are shopping in this uh, in this class. Uh, if you want to see the complete write-up of this, uh, we'll put a link up here. It'll be up on Hooniverse.com, and they're the ones who sent us on this drive, so appreciate uh, the Hooniverse crew for doing that. Uh, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time on rumblestrip.net and 10-Minute Test Drive.